Find your why, find your reason, find your inspiration. I've shared with you guys like tons, tons of whys. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep going? Why, why haven't I given up? Why, why, why? My why outweighs every reason not to show up, every reason to let the foot off the gas. But if you can find your why, your real reason, your real driving inspiration to do this, the days when you feel like you want to give up, those days when you think that it's over, that is the test, and that's where you really need to break through. That's the resistance. That's the resistance. You got to break through the resistance, okay? You got to scale, you got to scale, and you got to come to a ceiling, and that ceiling could be doubt. That ceiling could be lack of confidence. You got to push through. You, got, you have to push through, and that's why I become so mental with this whole game. You know, it's a lot of times a battle of yourself. You know, imposter syndrome, you know, is something big, something that I, I kind of suffered with a lot of times where I just didn't feel I was good enough for fill in the blank. And I had to really work on that. You know, but there's a plethora of other things that could be keeping you from getting you where you need to go. And a lot of it is internal, guys. A lot of it isn't outside. A lot of it starts internal. And there you may listen to somebody on the outside. And now it just reinforces that doubt. It starts from within. Find the purpose. Don't get motivated. Do not solely focus on getting motivated because motivation is short-lived. Motivation is just a little band-aid. Find your inspiration, find your why. Your why is what's going to heal you. The why healed me. When I found my why, when I understood, okay, where do I need to do, where am I going with this? Why am I going here? Things change.